Hey, good day everyone. It's Cassidy from Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. Hey, we're going to walk through a 2022 Jayco Eagle 29.5 BH OK fifth wheel. Let's take a look. Two nice assist handles. We've got one here folds against the trailer. And then we do have our solid entry steps. We do have individually adjustable legs on this. And check this out. It's strutted for easy lifting. Right up inside the coach and you're off and going. We'll back down. We have LED light strip. Nice thing about these is you'll never see that curled up from uh, excessive heat from the sun. It'll always stay nice and straight. On this awning, this does have adjustable pitch hardware. So if you want to adjust this for the rain runoff or catching the right uh, shade, that is achievable. You have outside speakers by Furion. A little LED light under there, which is kind of nice. Okay, into the pass-through. We do have our J port system that goes by the outdoor kitchen. You can put your flat uh, flat cooking surface on that, and there'll be an LP quick connect that goes straight to the trailer. Up over here, you can see this was optioned with the extreme weather package, so we can turn that on if you're planning on uh, spending any time in this hunting, camping, whatever below freezing temperatures. This will do it. And at first you'll need more propane in those colder weather times. So having the dry camping package, this does have two 40 pound propane tanks. Uh, hitch selection. Everyone always kind of wonders what you should do for hitch selection. A lot of days uh, we recommend using an Anderson Ultimate, which is a nice aluminum tripod style hitch. However, with something like this, short box or long box truck, we can let this work with a standard fifth wheel hitch. They have a bolt on this pin box that we can take out to allow this pin box to swing side to side, allowing you to use a short box truck with a standard fifth wheel hitch. So it's nice, nice options there with that. Nice uh, front cap, LED lighting, hitch hookup lights. And they do a nice job also with cutting on the sides to give you a little more clearance uh, for the cabin of your truck. All right, coming under here, another nice light. Of course, you can't have too much of that. Uh, if you've ever hooked up in the dark, you know what I'm talking about. On over to our storage compartment or uh, doubles, obviously, with the Gen Prep package for a 5,500 Onan propane generator. Jayco does a great job of prepping it, so it's a very easy install, and we always have the generators in stock. Nice battery compartment. You know, this is set up uh, with the Overlander 2 solar package. So obviously most, uh, most of the time, people are good with two batteries on a unit like this, but we do have options to do more battery if you're planning on spending some extended time off the grid. All right. So we're gonna check out this side uh, of the unit. So the other side of our pass-through storage, we got a battery disconnect switch. That's always a nice option to have. Manual controls for the Lippert ground control auto leveling system. You know, it's nice to have those controls, but really all of that can be on the J Command app on your cell phone, and you can auto level this right from your phone, which is awesome. Over to our convenience center. This thing really is super convenient. I mean, everything you need is in here. Outdoor shower, water heater bypass, water pump switch, winterized valve, city water connection, black tank flush, uh, your dump valves, and then a nice super convenient way to get up any cables, hoses, or anything right up through the small hatch in the bottom. So that will not hinder uh, the door shutting. Jayco does nice automotive grade bulb seals around here as well. And then 
flam latch. So let's go under here. So it's nice Jayco's still utilizing uh, the reliable rack and pinion slide systems on here. Uh, very tried, very true through the years. So great to see they're still using that. On over to the axles of this trailer. They're definitely not skimping in that department. They're using good Dexter axles on these trailers. Um, so that's, uh, uh, you'll definitely see some life out of those. On over to the wheels. Those are 16 inch wheels. Um, hooking up to today's modern trucks, you definitely want 16 inch wheels on a fifth wheel for, for ground clearance to have a more level hookup. You also notice that it has Goodyear Endurance tires on it. That's one of very few tires out there that is an 80 mile an hour rated tire. If that's not enough peace of mind, you got a little more peace of mind with the TPMS system. That's Tire Pressure Monitoring System. You can follow the tire pressures in each tire from the J Command app as you're traveling down the road. Talk about peace of mind. Okay, here we are at the back of the unit. Uh, a couple things I want to point out. Uh, one is not many manufacturers does a straight up towing package from the factory. Uh, Jayco does a killer job at putting these rear receiver hitches on, uh, very sturdy. 3,000 pounds of tow capacity, 300 pounds of tongue weight, and you got a four-way flat on there as well. Uh, we can also change that out if you want to uh, adapt to different wiring. We can put whatever on there that you may need. So right from the factory, good to go. Also, we have an observation prep system on this trailer. So it's already prepped and wired for a observation camera here at the back. Great way to uh, keep an eye at what's going on behind you. Whether that's the, the guy tailgating you, the trailer behind you, making sure your bicycles don't fall off the rack. Uh, nice options. So uh, awesome outdoor kitchen. You know, I love when they put the door up like this. So if you're out here cooking, hanging out with your buddies, drinking a beer or something, and it's raining, you guys can be undercover while you're doing it. They have the J port system. So that comes with the bracket that we showed you in there that you can put a, a flat cooking surface uh, on that. Hook to the LP Quick Connect system under the trailer and have water, clean up after yourselves, storage drawers, bottle opener, you know, and that is a 110 fridge. However, blocks of dry ice do a fantastic job of making this 110 fridge still be functional while you're off the grid without 110 power. So that's awesome. Let's go check out the roof, guys. All right, guys, here we up. We're on the roof of the Eagle. Um, so Jayco does what they call the Magnum Truss roof system on here. That's a 3 8, three eight inch uh, plywood roof. You will not find any OSB on a roof of a Jayco or any OSB anywhere inside of Jayco. If it's wood, it's plywood. So another thing that they do is they, everything is screwed on the decking, no staples like a lot of manufacturers. So one of uh, a lot of things that make the Jayco different. So you ever wonder what the refrigerator vent looked like on the roof of the trailer? That's what it looks like. You get plumbing vents. You get the Weingard Air, Air 360 digital TV antenna. 15,000 BTU air conditioner by Coleman Mach. We've got a very impressive solar package on this, the Overlander solar package. Uh, all nicely plug and played into, into the GoPower uh, solar ports on this. And this is addable as well. We can do more solar if someone wants to. So very nicely set up. Let's go inside and take a look in there. Oh, oh, hey, sorry. These beds are super comfortable. I forgot we had to shoot a video. All right, all right, let's move on here. Um, so, caught me sleeping on the bed, um, but 
hopefully you took notice that me being six foot three inches, I was able to fit on here comfortably. These single bunks are rated for 300 pounds each. And our bigger bunk over here is actually rated for 600 pounds. Now getting up to all these bunks, you have an awesome built-in steps and you have storage in each one, which is nice. Got a very solid location for a TV, 110 plugs, USBs on each side of the door. All right, let's go check the rest of this out. For, all right, 13.5 cubic foot uh, double door Dometic fridge. In a, in a family-based uh, floor plan like this, it's awesome to get a double door fridge. Uh, and this is a gas electric also. Storage, they're not lacking. One, two, three, four. And look how deep that thing is. Then speaking of deep drawers, the Furion uh, oven range combo with a massive pots and pan drawer in the bottom. Nice flip over glass cover, gives you more counter space, opens up for a nice flat cooking surface with the cast iron grates. Got the butcher block knife holder out over there. So I really enjoy that Jayco does the stainless 50-50 sinks in these. Really like having that separation uh, opposed to the single basin. Reach everything, a nice little pull down so you can access all of that. And then this cutting board, drying rack. It's nice. So we always enjoy a good booth dinette. Uh, so and this does obviously double for another sleeping area. Not that you would maybe need it, but it is a great option. Uh, we do have theater seating here. We do have some nice kickouts on them. So you can kick back and, uh, and enjoy that. That's a great collection from Stacy Stewart. And then if you take notice into each slide wall, we have not only switches for, you, for your, your lighting, they have USBs on each side of the slide out, giving you some nice options there. So beautiful entertainment center, tons of storage up top. Under a flat screen, sound bar, and then a 30 inch Furion fireplace. So, not to forget the storage on each side of those. All right, let's take a walk up top here. So, the mother brain of this unit, uh, we have the J Command uh, control system by BM Pro. Literally anything and everything you want to control on here from your climate control, your lighting, your, your tanks, your solar, your motors, everything is controlled right through this system here. So, which is, uh, which is awesome. So, and also you can, again, run the J command control from your phone and function all of that from your phone, from this touchpad, or you can run a lot of your, your lighting in your slides and awning right on here. Let's go up top here. So let's start with the, with the commode, the throne, the toilet. Um, has a nice foot flush, and this is a porcelain commode as well. Even though you got a sliding door here, Jayco still is able to put a, a toilet paper hold on, holder on it. So uh, it kind of sounds funny, but uh, it's nice to have. You don't know what you have until it's not there. Got our little uh, hooks there for towels. And we've got a nice uh, exhaust fan. So on the modern farmhouse uh, for 2022, they did switch over in here on this awesome navy blue. You know, it seems like a different uh, kind of color combination but it is really working well. 
So we got a nice uh, radius shower here. And let's go on it and see how roomy it is. So I'm not touching uh, the top of the skylight. I am up past the roof line, but not past the skylight. So even myself, I am still would be able to shower with ease in here. Pretty good room. And it's nice having these doors, they can completely shut off the water so you're not getting water outside the shower. I always deem it very important to have a linen in the bathroom. I mean, where do you put the towels otherwise? So nice linen that's directly for the bathroom. Let's go on and check out the rest. So we have a nice little wardrobe in here. Hang a lot of clothes. A little uh, separate light switch there. A couple nice drawers. So Jayco did switch this year with uh, the black roller shades. Takes out a lot of the light coming through compared to previous years of the, the fabric. So something else notable here is having windows on each side totally makes way for uh, cross ventilation. So that is nice. So we got individually controlled light switches, kind of his and hers light switches there. USB ports on both sides of the bed. Um, and something else notable here too, Jayco has directional uh, vents uh, for their air conditioning, uh, which is nice. It helps you really control the air where you want it, when you want it. So anyways, if you guys found this video helpful, uh, please hit the like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Again, come see us, we're Smith RV. We're in central Wyoming. You can see more units like this at smithrv.com. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day.